Tonic water, or Indian tonic water, is carbonated water that contains quinine. Originally used as a treatment for malaria, tonic water now has a significantly lower quinine content, but it continues to be consumed for its distinctive bitter flavor. It's most commonly found in mixed drinks like gin and tonic. Quinine is extracted from the bark of the Andean fever tree, or cinchona tree, which had been used in Peru to treat fever and diarrhea since at least the 1600s, and likely long before that. Some accounts say that the Peruvians shared this remedy with the Countess of Chinchon in 1640 when she had malaria. Others say that it was given to a Jesuit missionary named Barnaby de Cobo in 1632. Either way, it was taken back to Spain around this time, and the ground-up bark became known around Europe as Countess's Powder or Jesuit's Powder. In 1817, French scientists Pelletier and Caventou found a method for extracting the bark's most medically powerful compound, quinine. The quinine acts against malaria by interfering with the growth and reproduction of malarial parasites, which inhabit red blood cells. The presence of malarial parasites on red blood cells is why the disease is transported on blood-sucking mosquitoes. Pelletier and Caventou established a factory to produce quinine and sold the drug as a means of preventing malaria. During this time, the British Empire was continuing its expansion into tropical regions like India and Africa, however they were being plagued with malaria. The British ordered that quinine be taken daily as a preventative measure. Unfortunately, quinine on its own was extremely bitter, and so British troops stationed in India combined it with water, sugar, lime and gin to make it more palatable. This was the first gin and tonic. Bottles of sweetened quinine water soon appeared, to be drunk with or without the alcoholic gin. This was the first tonic water, or Indian tonic water. The drink was later carbonated towards the end of the 19th century. When its anti-malarial properties were no longer required, tonic water withstood the test of time, remaining a favorite mixer for gin and vodka drinks, though with far less quinine. By the 1980s, soft drink companies began sweetening tonic water with high fructose corn syrup, causing some bottles to have three times as much sugar as fruit juice. Today, by law in many countries, Tonic water must contain less than one-tenth of a gram of quinine per litre, with many companies opting for around the 85 milligram mark. This is far less than the medicinal dosage of 200 to 300 milligrams four times a day, which is recommended for some adults, and in extreme cases of malaria, up to 2,000 milligrams over a 24-hour period can be given. Even in small amounts, quinine is thought to be beneficial in stimulating digestion and easing muscle cramps. Generally speaking, there is no danger in consuming quinine. However, excessive consumption can cause side effects for some people. Tonic water will fluoresce under ultraviolet light. This is because the invisible ultraviolet light is absorbed by the quinine in the tonic water. This excites the quinine, and when the quinine becomes unexcited, it releases visible blue light. Quinine is so sensitive to ultraviolet light that it will even appear visibly fluorescent in direct sunlight against a dark background. 